The telltale sign that we're looking at a large scale system coming in. Andy, isn't that right? That's exactly what we're looking at. <laughs> Strong winds typically always correlate with a large scale system coming through like this next one. Yes, Jordan, with the kind of added on to our next Arctic cold front coming through, the same system that actually is bringing winds out to the west for those Santa Ana winds is going to be one of the main reasons we're also going to get those winds heading into our Friday as our Arctic system slowly starts coming down with this low pressure system actually helping giving us more of those windier conditions for our Friday. But our cold front is expected to be coming in more so for our Saturday. This is going to be the coldest air in the season, which for a lot of us, we are going to be kind of cold for quite some time, really giving us a lot more of those wind chill effect because of those windier conditions and our coldest days are looking to be more so into early next week, which has given us the major concern to seeing a hard freeze throughout much of the region and possibly a lot of us we're going to be more so into those below freezing conditions for up to 24 to 48 hours consecutively heading more so into our Monday all the way possible into our Wednesday morning with a lot of us our forecast lows. They're going to be flirting more so into those teens and 20s with those wind chills possible into those single digits. So definitely with those winds coming in on Friday, windy conditions throughout much of the parts of the weekend heading into early next week, it is going to be chilly for a lot of us. But with the main concern really being where well, a lot of us are going to be into that hard freeze categories. This is our forecast lows heading into tomorrow. Listen, our forecast low, we're going to be into those upper low to mid 40s, but heading into out much of the week. Look at that. It is getting out of our hard freeze category, which we categorize that when temperatures are just at below 28 degrees for a longer period of time of up to four hours or more. So if, if it is below that or at that mark, that's when a lot of us could see more of that hard freeze category. So the best thing you can go ahead and do right now, more so for those outdoor plumbing, just make sure you insulate those exposed piping, especially when the cold area does come in. Just keep your cabinets open where your pipes at. It could be under your sink or anywhere else into your house or apartment. Just keep those open and just make sure you keep them dripping because a lot of us are going to be into those conditions of below freezing, especially in that hard freeze category for quite a long time. And as well for those sprinkler systems, make sure you turn those off so nobody is going to be slipping on any roadways. Alex? Andy,